Welcome to It Figures. Tonight we're going to take a look at Luke Skywalker, a Mighty Mugs figure. Okay, so this is my first Star Wars Mighty Mugs figure, and he's one of the older ones I believe that's come out. Now, I'm a huge Star Wars fanatic, and I have all the other Star Wars figures from Hasbro. So when I first seen these Mighty Mugs Star Wars figures, I was like, well, I'm not collecting Star Wars figures again. You know, I have so many, I'm not getting any more. But some of the figures that have come out in this line are so good that, you know, it's just beyond tempting to get <laughs> all of them. So I will start with the classic Luke Skywalker and work my way down. So some of these Mighty Mugs, they kind of try to go for the more realistic look. As you can see with Luke here, they kind of went with more of the cartoon look for him. Which, you know, I think it works for this figure because it is, after all, a Mighty Mugs figure. So you can't expect it to look exactly like Mark Hamill. There isn't a whole lot of detail in Luke's outfit, but again, you know, there never really was that much detail in his outfit. So for articulation, Luke has, his head does turn, and both arms do turn. His hands, of course, don't turn, and his legs do also do not turn. And on the bottom is the Mighty Mug stamp of approval. The paint job here is really nice. I do like the two tones to his hair. He has a dark on the bottom and light on the top. Um, there is a little bit of overspray here on whatever this is sticking out of his belt, but other than that, everything else is pretty much perfect on this figure. Luke does come with one accessory, and that is his lightsaber. Now, I gotta say, this is one of the craziest looking lightsabers I've ever seen from any Star Wars figure. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that detailed um, paint wise. And it is a blue one, which is nice from the New Hope. And of course, the blade, as you can see, is clear, as you can see through it. But it kind of looks to me more or less like a, like a baseball bat. So, but you know, it's a lightsaber. And it's a Mighty Mugs lightsaber, so you can pretty much expect that. and it does fit easily in his hand and he looks really good holding it. So let's take a look at the Figo meter and see how Luke stacks up. For paint it's really nice um, a little bit on the cartoon is shied for me but of course again you know you should expect that for, from the Mighty Mugs I think the earlier Star Wars figures did have more of a cartoonish look until they started getting farther into the line and making them a little bit more realistic and resembling the characters a little bit more. So for paint, Luke gets a 4 out of 5. Articulation, 2 out of 5. Accessories, I like the lightsaber a lot, um, even though it's kind of goofy and looks like a baseball bat, but strangely enough, it does fit the character really well. <laughs> so accessories, he gets a 3 out of 5. Overall figure, um, I'm very happy with Luke. He's my first Star Wars figure out of the Mighty Mugs collection, like I said. So overall figure, Luke gets... A four out of five. So that's been tonight's episode of It Figures. You can visit my new website at baronatrampoline.com where you can see a lot more Mighty Mug figures and a couple of short movies that I've made. So please check it out. And I will see you next time on It Figures.